What's going on guys? Welcome back to my Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough. This is part 36. And uh, yeah, we are in Saint Denis and um, I thought that we would perhaps... Let's talk to this stranger first, since it's yellow and looks like it's a uh, main mission. Usually the yellow, you know, uh, question marks or yellow... Well objectives, whatever, uh, their main missions. So let's talk to him first, and we'll see what's going on. Him or her. Um, they're just, yeah, they're right here. Perfect. Let's talk to them. Stranger. What's up, man? Mr... I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say... Uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. <laughs> you have great powers of observation. Yes, my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger. And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> And even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. If the counselor wants to apologize, he can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Okay. It looks like we need to meet them later. So I guess we'll do the Mr. Trelawney mission first. Be, I'll be right back, guys, once we're there. Okay, here he is. I think we're about to rob a riverboat. I did see, well, the description of the mission. Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to okay. fix up so fine, no one will notice a thing. Oh, uh, we need a nicer outfit, of course. Hello, can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, 
Let's see what they got. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. The Whitmore. Uh, is this it? Superb quality. Okay. I can't we choose something else, or is that it? Uh, okay, I guess we'll take it. Bye. There we go. You have this item equipped. Okay, that's good. Perfect. And uh, let's leave. Yes. All right. Wow, uh, the last mission was uh, insane, guys. If you haven't seen that, I recommend you watch it. I'll leave a link down in the description if you guys want to see it. Um, a lot of things happened. Uh, I won't get into it that much, but the episode is called Horseman Apocalypses. And uh, yeah, we did do two missions then. And uh, the second one, wow. Let's just say that a huge surprise walks into the camp. <laughs> yeah, so make sure to leave a like on this video, guys, and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already, and turn that notifications bell on so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Let's do this. Oh, we need to. Okay, looks like we're going into a barber as well. I don't want a want a haircut. Come on. Yeah, that's a barber. Hopefully, I maybe I don't need to do anything here. Hold on. Cut hair. Okay, we're not touching the 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 beard at all. Hell no. Uh, trim hair. Maybe go one step back. That's it. Yeah. Okay, we can do different styles, but I I'm I like the one we have. Yeah, let's go with this. This is good. There we go. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. Let's get to the docks. Well, look at that, Mr. Trelawney. You really did think of everything. That's good. You, yeah. This is a bit much, ain't it? The coach. We can't plenty up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way... Oh, okay. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <clears throat> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently... <laughs> okay. That's nice. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. 
So hold up. Will Strauss be able to see the this guy's cards, perhaps? That would be awesome. Or do I need to play for real? You know, really think before I act. Um, we'll see. I'm I'm a decent poker player. Oh my guns. No. Remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes. Okay. Yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss. Listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky oh, yeah. night. Okay. So before we act on anything, we'll need to check on uh, Strauss. If he gives us a sign or something. Oh well, okay. A riverboat. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. Don't have any guns on me, man. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Which table do we need to sit? Okay. The second table. Um. Yeah. Feel free to join a game, sir. Take a seat, sir. Let's play. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen. Let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up waiting okay. for me. Like Let's see already. here. There's Strauss, right behind them. Wow, he can really see his cards. <laughs> uh, but I think... If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I mean, I got the most of the money right now, so... <laughs> Let's just play it like we should here, for example, uh, and see what happens. I mean, they go all in. I only need to put up thirty-seven dollars. That isn't too bad. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> and he wins. Okay. He's the guy we need to rob, I guess. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know. Okay, a pair of queens. Yeah. I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Okay, what does? Let's see here. Uh, yeah. Okay, Mr. Callahan. I'm wow. Playing. Really? Strauss, do you have something to say? Hold on. He's nodding to go all in as well. Okay. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. Well, well, well. Look at that. <laughs> Shit. Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. 
Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play as you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. <laughs> wow, the dealer really gives us the gr great cards. Uh, a pair of kings. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well... Venture, okay. Gain. Let's see here. Pear cake. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Are you sure about that? <laughs> uh -oh. Yes. You well, well, well. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you. No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but um, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Okay. Gentlemen, please nice. cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. Wow, really, dude? That's racist. <laughs> Come on. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but Vienna, I've got my own little law give a right. Really? Very good. Not cool, man. Not cool. Sir, I saw it earlier and it really is a handsome piece. Can we explore here? Nah, okay, we can't. That's too bad. here we are. Here we are. Awesome. Let's see here. Of course, take your time. <clears throat> Nothing here. Oh, there we go. Javier in action. Take his gun, Arthur. Give me your gun, man. There we go. You were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Idiot, huh? Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Okay, let's do this quick before we get caught. Uh, that's awesome. Let's go. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. How much are you guys willing to bet that we will get caught and we need to fight ourselves out of the boat? I'm pretty sure that will happen. I guess we'll find out. Usually things go sideways in these sorts of missions. Yeah, let's just go and have a drink or something. 
Ah, look at that. To the bar, senor. Wow, really? There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> okay, I knew it. I knew it. Come on. Really? Oh, no. He'll... Yeah, I knew it. He would... Get to cover in time. My bad. There we go. Uh, this is just a minor setback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll need to move forward. Wow, really? Oh, there he is. I was wondering who was shooting at me. Come on. Nice. Only him left. Okay. Let's go. Oh wow, we're really jumping off the boat. Wow, okay. Mierda. <laughs> Alright. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Alright guys, um, let's see here, that's it for this episode, let me just take a look what we can do next before we end this video. Um, hold on, we're back at the, yeah, Saint Denis. Let's see here, um, I guess we can do the Dutch mission next, yeah. Yeah, oh, there it is, okay, we'll do either of them, we'll see, but yeah guys, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Take care. Bye for now.